When I first start Ark, the first thing that I want to tame is a gang of Dimorphodons. That's right, these creatures might look small, but these guys can make a huge impact, especially at the beginning of the game. When you're outnumbered by everything that wants to kill you, these guys can protect you against raptors, rexes, carnos, spinos, everything, you name it, these guys can protect you from. So sit back guys, relax, and let me show you how these little guys can become a massive game changer. Let's go get our death swarm of Dimorphodons. So guys, Dimorphodons are pretty easy to obtain actually. So all you're going to need is a bow and arrow or a crossbow, anything like that. You can use a long neck rifle if you want guys. I'm going to go for the basics. I'm going to take my apprentice bow. Now I don't have um, a normal one and my ramsack one looks like it's going to break. So I'm just going to take my, uh, my good old apprentice one. Oh, I've got some human hair. Okay, so we're also going to take our shotgun as well. I don't know what that was about, guys. We're going to take my normal ascendant shotgun just for backup and protection. Don't forget, guys, to get your tranks and your shotgun shells and also drop your human hair. Next, guys, we're going to take some bowlers. I'm just going to take one. We're moving on to taming food now, guys. Now, taming food just take some raw meat don't worry about having prime meat or kibble or anything like that just raw meat is good enough so when it comes to the location guys dimorphodons are located absolutely everywhere on the map but the snow biome and obviously Kano island like pretty much every creature but the best place to find these guys is around swamp areas that's where you'll find groups of them together so guys here we are right outside my base <laughs> so the good thing about my base is it is located just here on the map if i just get my map up just here on the map in the middle of the ocean apparently but now on this little peninsula here and this is great because we're on the border of a swamp and dimorphodons actually roam these parts very very much so if we go over here we should actually see some the only problem is is it is dangerous if you come into a swamp area to tame the Dimorphodon because of like Titanoboas, you've got Baryonyxes. You've got to be careful with the Titanoboas as well because if they come through the water, sometimes you can't even see them up until like they're pretty much on top of you. So as you can see, we've got one there, we've got one over there as well. We've got like quite a lot. Ooh, we've got another one there. Now what I'm doing, guys, you can see that Titanoboa over there. I'm going to try and take out the titanoboas and stuff first. Oh, we got a Sarko. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Did not see that coming. Uh-oh. This is why I got my Ascendant shotgun. Something good to me. No. Here comes another. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Everything's scaring me today. Uh-oh. Everything's getting killed by Dillos apparently. <laughs> Dillos are taking control. Uh oh, we got we got more, we got more. Oh, I oh, know, it's okay. <laughs> Is that everything? Is that everything that wants to make me uh make me it's dinner? Right, that looks like everything. Oh, we've got some titanoboas over there, but we should be fine. Okay, so as you can see, we've got loads of uh, dimorphodons literally everywhere. Pack it in, stomp it around. I'm trying to do a video here. So as you can see, guys, we've got a lot of dimorphodons flying around. But the bad thing is, as soon as we bowl one or hit one with our bow and arrow, the whole lot are gonna just come on to us so let's try and get this guy now oh wrong one so here we go we've hit it 
let it swoop at you. And there we go. Once it swoops, you kind of left it. Oh, God, here they are. Here's all the crew. Get away from me. Oh, God. You know what? I'm going to tame this one as well. There we go. King one and you. Quickly place that in there. Run me! So if you haven't got bowler, guys, the best thing to do is just sprint away, jump, turn around, and... Oh, he's over there. Oh, God. No, he's not. Oh, my God. They, they, they broke it in my stuff. Alright, let's let's take some Titana Boa meat. So the good thing about Dimorphons, guys, is their taming bar does go up quite rapidly. Oh, hi. Didn't even realise you were there. That actually scared the life out of me, he's snoring. So the taming bar does go down uh, sorry, it does go up rather quickly, and the torpidity goes down rather quickly as well. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Get away. So now all we're doing, guys, is literally protecting our Dimorphodon that's down. Like I say, Titanic Bowers, they, they're slimy buggers. They get, they, get, they get up close without you even realizing. And then the Caprasucos, they just like jump out of nowhere so you gotta watch out for them sarcos as big as they are sometimes just come out of nowhere i think i think we're okay i think we're okay now though oh there we go we got two a few moments later so guys we have got the death swan here and how many we got here we've got five oh we've got six there we go i was gonna say there should have been six so we've got six and what we're doing at the uh, good old mountain areas we're looking for a rex I want a Rex to prove to you guys that getting one of these guys, or six of these guys at least, you can actually take out a Rex and this will literally make you so comfy, especially at the start of the game because you can get these very, very early on. In fact, I always make it the first thing I can tame. So we tame these guys at first and you shouldn't go wrong, oh we've got a Rex over there. So now we've got six. We are literally unstoppable now. Any Raptors or anything like that that's bothering you in your base oh we've got bronto there we'll take the bronto next anything like that that is bothering you around your base is now nothing kill the rg all right guys are you ready bloody hell let, let the rex come out here Well, it's come out to the open make sure there's no there oh it's got a it's attacking hyena don't oh got some uh what are these mm, talons nice so we've got our Dimorphodons going now. Go, guys! So you can see the fan out. Go on, get gone, you. Oh, look at that. Level 40 Rex taken out by six Dimorphodons. Again, guys. They may be small. Oh, Jesus Christ, that scared me then. They may be small, but they will literally destroy any Rex, Raptors, Carnos, whatever you need, these guys will do. Now, we're going to go against a Bronto. Now, Brontos and Stegos and things like that, even Therizinosauruses, anything that has like a sweep attack can be used against the Dimorphodons and pretty effectively as well, because obviously they'll just swing and more likely hit. So. This might end a bit badly, but go get them, guys. I had to disable the uh, the names off, because otherwise it looks like a load of floating names just get flying around. But look at that. The boys are killing. The boys and girls, should I say. And this Bronto ain't got a... Oh, he's running. He's running. He's bloody. And boom, just like that, the guys have done it. Now, the best thing to do, guys, when leveling up your Dimorphodons is health and melee attack so me i like to get the melee damage to at least 300 then their health to like that oh 2000 oh we've got a kento after us now now these guys might do a bit of damage as well again sweep attacks but nothing nothing look at that these guys will literally tear anything apart so i recommend when you first start you you're gonna find these goddamn rexes and raptors and everything like that that want to just be around your base all the time 
Get some Dimorphodons, guys. These guys will kill everything and anything. Now, guys, one of the bad things about a Dimorphodon that you might... You can change it, I guess, but that is their weight. Now, they don't have a massive weight, and to be fair, I don't think you'd need to put anything into the weight. If you want, you can do, but I wouldn't put anything into the weight. And sometimes when they come encumbered, they tend to just sort of stay in the air. They won't follow you. They won't fly to you. So when you click follow and they're not flying towards you or they're just stood there, it's probably because they're encumbered. Now, another thing, guys, is these are obviously shoulder mounts. So they are great to take with you on any journey, and you wouldn't even notice that they're there. But the best thing about this is you can actually put things in them. So if you want to put any meat or hide or, like, say, cryopods like I have, then just pop them in, and you've got bags. So I've got six Dimorphodons. They can protect me along my long journey across Ark. As well as that, I can also stick in my rare and valuable items and these guys will not only protect me, but they'll keep my whole entire inventory safe as well. Got Lystrosaurus here. Let's see how well... Oops, wrong button. I didn't mean to press that. Got Argentavis. Let's see Dimorphodon versus Argentavis. See who is the best flyer. There they are. And you can see there's just too many for the Argentavis to even hit. It doesn't know which one it's going for. And when it turns to one, another one hits it. Nice, guys. I see another Rex there. All my guys are here, right? Yeah. Okay, I think we've lost one. I think we've, we may have lost one. Not lost him, but he may have been encumbered, so he's probably not followed again. Damn. It's a pain. Oh, we've got two Rexes here. Get them, guys. See if we can kill two Rexes with six Dimorphodons. Oh, we killed the we killed the trike. One Rex is bloody. Oh, there's the Rex gone. Here comes the other one. Go on, boys, kill it. I think this is a high-level Rex, to be fair. There we go, look at that. Five Dimorphodons just killed. Where's five there, isn't there? 100%. Five Dimorphodons just killed two Rexes and a Trike. Now, I know the Rexes were distracted a bit, but we're going to take it anyway. Now, the only creatures I don't recommend you going for, guys, with your Dimorphodons, is any fast creatures like the Gallimimus here, because they will hit it, and then if it gets the ability or the chance to fly away or run away like the Tapajara just did there, then these guys will just start following it and they might go a bit too far from your distance and stuff. So the best thing to do against creatures that are fast is not to bother. Just kill them yourself. That's the only problem with these guys. Got some lovely raptors over here. Just what I wanted. Oh, a raptor and a car now. Let's, let's do this. Two raptors. Guys. There we go. We've got it. <laughs> it's a bit, uh, bit of a close call because I didn't notice the raptor right next to me. Where's that Kano gone? There he is. Oh, there's two. Two Kanos. Bloody hell, everything's coming in twos now. Ow. 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 There we go. And that one, guys. Get it! Boom, look at that. I told you guys, Death Swarm. And they're everywhere, look. We've got some here that aren't even ours. They, they like to help me, I hope. But look at that, guys. Six Dimorphodons have killed absolutely everything. So that has been it for me, guys. I hope now you see just how amazing the Dimorphodons are. And the next time you go on a playthrough, you'll be taming a group of these killers. So if you did like the video, guys, don't forget to hit that like button and leave a sub on the channel because it helps me out a massive bunch. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.